Ready to go on another episode of Across Louisiana, Acadiana Style, brought to you by Mellow Joy, the original Cajun coffee. We want to welcome back Nicole Lopez. She is in the public relations and event promotion business. And here today to talk about one of her events is Maddie's Footprints uh, Forever 5K. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing good. Before we go into it, uh, for those not familiar, give us the story of Maddie's Footprints. If sure. You um, Maddie's Footprints came along about six years ago. Uh, it was created and founded by Travis and Lori McGrew um, due to their loss of Madeline Noel, their daughter. Um, she had a normal pregnancy and towards the end of her pregnancy she found out that Madeline was diagnosed with a chromosomal disease called trisomy 18. Um, unfortunately, the doctor said that the um, disease was not compatible with life and so whenever uh, Maddie was born, she had passed away about the same day and um, after going through the loss and all of the things that come along with that, uh, Lori just had it on her heart that she wanted to pay it forward to other families and help them figure out how to get through the loss and provide financial support or um, counseling, just whatever was needed at the time. And it's just grown, unfortunately, to a huge thing here in Louisiana. And um, we actually assist nine or 10 parishes here in Acadiana. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, you still, I mean, you go through such a period of getting excited and, and, right. and, and, and a lot of times you've already brought another child into the world right. and you know what to expect and it's it's devastating. My it aunt, is. My aunt in the 50s lost one and she it still feels it today. Yeah, I, uh, I, from what I understand from a lot of moms, they said it's just something that just stays with you forever. And um, I guess the grieving process for Lori and Travis has been giving back to the community through Maddie's Footprints and... Um, and they've been widely successful with it. I think that they've helped about five to 600 families to date within the last six well, years. So it's sort of a support group, uh, just, you know, go go get heard, people who share similar stories kind of a thing. Yes, they actually have a, a meeting, a grief share meeting called uh, Footprints Forever, and it's held, uh, I believe, once a month. And they also have two events a year to raise okay. funds. Well, let's talk about the uh, Footprints Forever 5K. Sure. I think uh, they've been doing this as well for the six yes, years. Yes, they started okay. uh, right around the same time, and it, it's grown exponentially. Uh, we're expecting about 2,000 participants. Wow. Yes. Wow. It's so very tell us huge. the particulars where. And sure. When. Um, it's Saturday, October 24th in River Ranch, and we're actually uh, going to shut down Camellia and run the track on Camellia instead of in the neighborhood. So that'll be a okay. new nice change. And all of the activities for race day will take uh, place in Town Square and River Ranch. Um, they can register online at maddiesfootprints.org. Um, and they can also give us a call at 288-3902. Of course, most people go to these to participate and to give back. So what sure. else is happening in the race? You know, you've got your handful of hardcore racers, but then you've got... Yes, so absolutely. So what else is going to happen? What kind of entertainment? Um, there's going to be a balloon artist. There's going to be food. There's going to be face painting, fun jumps. There's going to be a ceremony uh, for the families and a balloon release. And we also have a special surprise for the families um, on race day. We're not... No, say what it no, is. No details. Just need to come out and see what All we got right, for well, you. One more time. Give us the website info. We're going to put that up on the screen. Sure. So it's uh, maddiesfootprints.org. Okay. All right, Nicole. I'm sure we'll see you soon on uh, your next event. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the nice crisp fall weather. Hope Thank you. I hope it's great for the race. Oh, fingers crossed. All right, we're going to go down the bayou to New Iberia. Our friends at Arsenal Ford are out on Highway 90 in their new dealership. Take a look. Back in the early 80s when my dad was building the dealership, I mean, he built it on family and trust and everybody working together and, make, and having everybody treat each other like, a, like we're family. My two brothers and I have been all raised inside the walls of here. So when we have gone off to college and we, we've come back, it has been always under daddy's watchful eye, daddy's mentoring, daddy's experience has always kept us moving in the right direction. And uh, now that he is starting to kind of step back a little bit and put more control into all of our hands, uh, it's allowed us to take what we envision Arsenal for becoming in the future and to expand it, to uh, kind of keep up with technology and uh, just try to 
grow it as big as we possibly can. Um, we are not just the simple Ford store in the middle of sugarcane fields. We're actually, we're competitive. We have made a, a mark for ourselves and we have made our name known, not just as Arsenal Ford Little Store in New Iberia, but we're, we're out there. And when people are thinking about buying a Ford product, you know, in the Acadian area, our name is at the top of the list. This is truck country. Uh, the F-Series truck is, is the number one selling truck in the country. At Arsenal Ford, we sell a lot of trucks. Being in the all patch, we're right in the middle of, uh, you know, the F-150 and the F-250, the, the Super Duty diesels sell real well. The oil field's doing real well, especially around New Iberia. And uh, we are getting a lot of sales from the, from the oil business. But the new cars that they came out with, passenger cars, such as the new Ford Fusion with their technology, and also in the Ford Escape, the sync system and the My Ford Touch system, those two new models have been doing very, very well. Now we're getting a lot of feedback from the customers as far as for the technology in all their models. They seem to have more technology in their trucks than some of the other brands that are available to the public. The customer is bringing in their vehicle looking for a newer vehicle they might be upgrading or something might have changed in their path of life or, or you know, um, for instance, you have a young couple that get married and, and a year later they have a baby and they might have a, a, a car they just bought a year ago and now they have to upgrade their vehicle for what's going to fit their family needs. So in that same instance, that car, you know, that customer is, is trying to, they're transitioning in their life as well, so they'll trade it in and I might have uh, on the flip side, on the retail side of it, where a customer is looking for a vehicle like that, maybe for their new life as well, or, or what, you know, was changing their lives. So it's, um, it goes hand in hand, you know, it goes both ways. So. We have a lot of business, volume is big, but we're still small enough to be on that family basis, where I try to get to know, you know, everybody that walks through that door, I want to know on an individual basis, and from me to my advisors, that's basically how it is, you know. Um, it, it's, you're not a number, you know. It, it's about being part of this family, you know, uh, coming in for service, and that's how I strive to do it. The one thing that we're really proud of is our internet, our website. We took our website this last year from being just the mundane, same Ford Motor Company website that every Ford dealer around the country can have, and we really upgraded it. It is extremely user-friendly. It has an app for your iPad and your iPhone. Our salesmen go outside with their iPhones or their iPads and they click it and they see every vehicle that is sitting on the lot. And the fabulous thing is it is not just a stock photo. It's not a manufacturer's photo. It is the unit that's on the lot. So we want you to come and we want you to know that when you get here, that silver F-150, it is here. And you saw the color of the inside. You know exactly what wheels it has because you got to see it. It's really the truck in the photo. The Ford Motor Company is not simple Ford Motor Company anymore. And really and truly our belief now is we have such fabulous products, such fabulous quality, great technology. All we've got to do is get you in it. Get a customer in it, let them drive it, let them see what it can do. And they're shocked. It's not just the blue oval in the front anymore. For more information on all of our vehicles, you are more than welcome to go online, www.arsenalford.com for anything and everything that you need. And you can call us at 337-364-9721. And as always, it is as easy to find on Center Street in New Iberia. We hope you'll visit the new Arsenal Ford in New Iberia. It is gorgeous. We're gonna take a break and we'll come back. Eric Gidry is here to talk about the Leadership Philanthropy Awards Luncheon here in Lafayette. Stay with us. Thank you.